what is up yet again with an episode of the historic mini commander brawl games we are playing sithist harvest hand it's a super insanely awesome enchanter space build pretty stoked about it selesnia sword the cards that i love playing this is a quick throw together zero testing so far can't wait to see how she plays out Basically, Sithis is the ultimate enchantress. Whenever you cast an enchantment spell, you gain a life and draw a card. So it gets snowball into so many more overall like spells to cast from there. Pretty stoked about this. Let's get right into that game. But like, once I always forget, like, share, subscribe. Links down below. You don't forget it. Let's get into those games. All right. So we're trying to yet again play seven games. See if we can go seven and zero. Oh. It's unlikely based on my track record, but it's still a lot of fun. I'm not gonna deny it. I wonder who our first opponent's gonna be. I have no playtesting in this whatsoever, so I'm pretty stoked to see how it does. And let's see. It's always annoying when you have to like wait for players to come in. It's like, just give me a player already. There we go, right into it. Alright, we are starting off strong with an Asika deck. Alright, so I faced Asika last time. I didn't really see much strength to it. So she rolls. Uh, turn one goose, turn two rule of law. Yeah, I'm down with this. Ooh, they got those ultra art lands. These are beautiful. I love those things. All right, let's get that goose down. Beautiful start. The rule of law is definitely going to keep the opponent in check. Especially since they're starting off with this turn one terramorphic expanse. They're not going to follow up anything. There's going to be no counters whatsoever. I'm contemplating whether I should slow things down and do a Cobra or an Innkeeper. Yeah, I'm just going to get sit, sit this down. Might not be the best play, but it's best to start things building up. They might have a removal spell. If they do, they're getting rid of it right away. All right, Temple of Enlightenment. That's good. That gives us the option to like not have to worry about potential removal. All right, we're going to do this. I can do that and this. Yeah, I'm doing that. So we do a Prosperous Innkeeper, gain a life, and like a food, and just get down rule of law. Slow the opponent down substantially, gain a life, draw a card. Just swing in for the one. Off to a great start. Honestly, Lord. Uh, next turn, can't really do much. I might make a food token. I do have the All That Glitters, or it eats artifact as well. So it might be best to make a food token at that point. All right, network terminal. They're getting their ramp on. Let's just do, yeah, get network terminal out there on our Sithis. Then we're going to make a food. And swing in, yeah. So I just threw in the last packet, like, all that glitters, because why not? It puts in so much work, the all that glitters. So they probably need to worry about playing out Asika. But if they do, I can't. Yeah, they're definitely going to play out the bridge. The planner bridge. Sweet. Oh, the prismatic bridge. I'm going to just do borrowed time. And just get rid of the prismatic bridge. I'm assuming they're going to put it back in the zone. No, they keep it there. Make a food token. To seven eight swing in for eight. Potentially, if they remove borrowed time, I'm gonna keep this. Don't know why they played a single combat. Cause they're dead on board. Gain life draw. Boom swing in death. Score. All right, that was a quick one. Uh, yeah, we won that one. I've noticed basically with Asika, they're forcing themselves to put a lot more effort into like the the prismatic bridge as opposed to Asika. That was a good first game. Let's go right to the second one. Ooh, we got a little Kaldor. All right, we have Niv Mizzet Reborn. So turn one, I can Soul Warden. Turn two, no, I can't. I can't turn one Soul Warden because this is all uh, tapped. 
I have my finishers right away. So I might not do this. Because you turn one, turn two, three, maybe draw. Yeah, I'll keep it. It's not it's not a, a great keep. Because turn two, I'll get the weaver out. Turn three, I can start going. But again, turn five is where it can be tough with a Niv Mizzet deck. Well, let's just get this rolling. I'm wondering if I want to get out the Agianus Welcome for this to tap two. Let's get that there. Tap this for white, white. Get down to Johnny's Welcome. Cast draw. They might have a counter. There's a good chance there's a counter some. But this is already on the battlefield, which is kind of weird. But they have that pause right now, you know? Interesting. They didn't counter my Sithis, though. So, slowed up a little bit. They might have the Wrath right now or a removal. Because we want to. Yeah, I, I figured they had a Wrath. It makes the most sense. A little unfortunate, but it's definitely slowing it down. Oh, they just get rid of the Sanctum Weaver. Okay. Get a land, just get this out now. So we turn five, nothing to play for five. Probably play the Niv Mizzet Reborn right now. Because black, red, blue. Oh no, just Fabaro. Not bad. Top for five next turn. Jeez, removal dot deck. Take the action. All right, get that out there. Niv is gonna come down. That'll tap for five. It's a creature. Yep. Get this there. Get that there. Swing it for six. Do you have more removal? All right. About to be like, like what? Where's this more removal? You know. They gotta. Ha I know they have something. They keep. They keep looking at my Vorinclex. Yeah, I'm gonna scoop at it. I want to scoop so badly. It's ridiculous. It's removal dot deck. All right, Behemoth. It's not gonna do anything. I'll get plus one plus one. Nib comes down. Doesn't get much though. Ah, oh, never mind. It's a lot. That taps this, that goes there. If I can get to the next turn, it's 11, it's 5, is 16. Yep, good game. Yeah, it, all I had, I couldn't do anything because all I did was just kept uh, destroying my stuff. That's a loss. Like I said, that wasn't that fun, in all honesty. It's decks like that I'm just not a fan of, where it's just a destroy, 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 and you just can't play. It's the downfall of 1v1s. Like I said, we're having the last game when I was playing out my... The Agnes deck. Where basically just couldn't do anything because it just kept destroying everything with the Tigre deck. Alright, let's go to game three. Right now we are one and one. Not a bad. Alright, we are facing a Kinnon. A lot of combos with Kinnon. Uh, okay, I'll keep this. Turn one land where Elves.
Got a Falco, that's pretty cool. Uh, turn two, get this tapped, put this on that. Turn three, I got a few, okay. I need more white mana though. All right, Gilded Globe, draw a card. Get this down there. Uh... Yeah, I'm just gonna put it on now. Because the next one I can do Moon Cleric into all that glitters, potentially. But I gotta see what they're gonna do with their turn. I'm sure there's some removal coming up for right now. Because they keep looking at set this. See, I told you there's going to be something coming. That's fine. Get a... Planes. Take the action. And then reclaim wastes. Get Junkai. Birth of Lettuce. For a Plains. Play the Plains. Tap that for green. Bring that down. Then recast Authority of the Councils. Kinnon's probably coming down right now. Yep, Kinnon's coming down. Alright, just dumps the man into that for a Gyre. Alright, make a 0 4. This into that. Search for a thing. View battlefield. They got one, two, three, four, five mana. Yeah, I gotta do that. Oh, it does not go on top. That's still okay. I'll get rid of Kinnon. And swing in for three. Gave you life. This is gonna flip over, get some more life. When they cast an instant sorcery, I get a one, two, which is pretty cool. Ooh, okay, here we go. I'm gonna need to destroy that. So thank God I got a Rex Sage right now. All right, gain two life, Divine Visitation. Rex Sage. Boom, scoop. All right, so that's a win on Kinnon. All right, this one we're playing another Asika deck. All right, Asika part three overall. No, I, if I got, I can't do this hand. I do have Innkeeper into Warden or into a Naturalist, but I got to just dip this down. Uh, I'll keep this. I'm on the draw. This is pretty cool. Captured by Lagus. Can't attack a block, but I get to support too. Cold Steel Heart. I do this into that, into a Johnny's Welcome. Next turn, set this into a few things. We gotta dig up, look for land. Get a island. This is a pretty good looking card. All right, set this is gonna come down. Then we will land. Do this. 
Not worth it. Do authority of the consoles. Draw a card. So this is, if Pornhub has more life than you, gain four life. If Pornhub has more creatures, create two. If Pornhub has more cards, draw a card. What are they going to destroy? I'm assuming set this. Yep, destroy set this. Take the action. I'm going to play a land, recast set this, and just pass. Gain a life, score 28. Well, they have all these altered arts, pretty cool. Looks for an overgrown tomb. They have one, two. Destroys the enchantment. Puts that there. Put it over here. I'm mean, gonna keep destroying everything. You really can't cast anything, you know. Yep, bridge is coming down. Let's do. Let's cast her again. See what happens. Feels a Kenrith. And then Sterling Grove. And a guardian project. Let's get this on that. Slow it down a little bit. Build that up. Land. Give it lifelink. Draw land. Draw a card. Destiny spinner. Draw a card, land, get a life, swing in for two, get a draw, go to 36. What's coming down? It is a gnawbone. We have so many lands. Noxious. Destroys my thing. I'm going to just scoop it out probably after this one. Sure. They've killed it at my commander three times now. Danto has more creatures and more cards. I think now. Gain some life. Wing just landing. Make a dude. Okay, and then pass. All right, bring no 23. They're gonna just buff like crazy. The sacrifice in the Sterling Grove. The Prince on top, which is gonna, which is gonna make it. Oh, there you go. Yeah, that's gonna be game. Puts that dude there, draws a card. Do one of each color. All right, give them to that. This is a comma. At that point, it's going to untap all the lands, so it's definitely a loss. All right, we are two and two. Three games to go. So that was a good Asika deck right there. That's how that deck plays out. All right, let's see what we got now. Now we have a Selvala. Very CEDH-esque deck. 
Uh, I'll swing it. See if I got a turn one. So I do have a few in the deck, so. Yeah, so yeah, turn one, sweet. I'll see it's life bounty. This puts a thing there, blade reforged. Let's get this onto that. Swing the other one. Next turn, I'll get the Heliot out there. I guess how they put the little things in the corners, the far left, so you can see how, what your actual devotion and the whatnot is. All right, get this there, put that over there, and swing it up. I'm going to put the counter on the Heliod right now, just because I don't know what's going to happen with the Elseid. Right in the seven. Probably gonna get Shree Folk. Oh no, put all the lands in the hand. So they get two lands, drop out a Herax and a Yorvo. My turn now. Sit this. Let's get the land down. It's one, two. Yeah, I need to get this going. All right, untap this land. Swing both into Ren. All right, I'm going to put a counter on... Not the land, I think. All right, I'll cultivate again. Do a plains and a forest. Plains and the battlefield. This is down to two. It can go up to one. I right, put any lands on the battlefield. Tap. That's good at least that they're tapped. This will be. All right, Salval is coming down. I'm sure they're gonna equip it. No, you got Song of Freilies. All right. Do one, two, one, two, three, three. Put three on on different forest. Seven. Eight. Cast out Sithis. Resolve it. Let's do. And then that. Put no, I'll put that on top. I have three, four, five. View browser. Look for a creature. None of that. I want to get the next bloom, but it's not going to do much, you know? Flying life link protection. Let's do Voron Clex. And put that on this. Draw a card. Put a life counter on Sithis. Can't activate its abilities now, and I'm going to swing over at that. I'm assuming it's going to block. Probably should have not swung in. Oh, no. Sweet. Okay, good. Hoping that it wouldn't happen, but still can. Build out four cards. It's two lands. What's in the bottom? A Gigantosaurus and a Growing Rights. Probably recast this, activate it to add one mana at least. Harmonize, draw three cards. Crashing drawbridge, just for a blocker. Just 
Give me a plus four, plus four. And I'm playing the Black Blade Reforged. My turn. Play the Forest. Play the Vorinclex. Give this haste in lifelink. Untap this. Untap that. Swing full house at the opponent. Life blink, nothing there. Vigilance haste. It itself. All right, down to seven. Put two counters there. Put two counters there. And two counters there. All right, they need a wrath or bust. You can't plus one because it'll go to. It won't do anything. And you can't minus three, so that kind of slows it down a little bit. Equips this to a 910. Great Henge. Had two lands. That's an 11-12, though. Swings 11 12 at her. A little unfortunate. Cathar's Crusade. Activates and then swing house. Good game. Am I muted? Ah, oh, muted. All right, so the Selvala was a win. So, Vala was a win. I'm now three and two with two games to go. And this is put in some serious work, though. It really did. All right, we are facing. Ooh, uh, don't know the name of it. It's the uh, Red Green Sisters deck. Halana and Elena. Halana. Elena. Opening hand. Mm. Primo. A little worse. Turn one. Naturalist. I'll go with this. It's a little worse. But I'm going to keep this. Get the gate down. So turn two, I'm going to get the Jagai Naturalist. They're already swinging in right away. Oh, yeah. So we have Alana and Elena. First strike, reach beginning of your combat. Put X11 counters or X is the power. And it gains haste. It's kind of like the Xenagos. All right. Get the land down. And then make this not attack or block. And swing in for two. All right, next turn. Innkeeper and Ranger. And into this tapped. Yeah, this tapped. Get the Prosperous and keep her down. Ranger class. They got something flowing. I already know it. I can feel it. I am not going to attack just in case they had some because they were like hovering my cards a little bit. Alright, they 
did get a land. I mean, uh, a card to play. Discarded. Ambitious Assault. Creature you get two plus two plus two. Or plus two plus oh. Moving over the battery. All right, we got Sith. All that glitters on Sithis. Land Enchanter. Gain life. All right, swing in for seven. Nah, I'll let that be. Just because I don't want to risk it, so I'll just leave it where it's opened. Ogrehead. Still no land, which is a little unfortunate. That's probably going to put us over the edge. Right, we'll look for this. Take the action. Uh, I'm going to want to get... Let's find out. I'm going to get the Light of Promise. The Envoy down. Draw some cards. Draw some cards. Put a land out. Put this on her. Still no lifelink. Borrow time. Auto pay. Borrow time is going to go on Artillery Enthusiast. Swing in with the Harvester. All right. And scope. Sweet. All right. That was a win. Not much interaction on that game. Puts me at four and two, going to one last game. I'm hoping I can go seven and two. Get that overall decent victory. Play it out, clean the prize. Okay, this is the final game we're playing with Sithis. Uh, the Asika deck was an absolute travesty, and Niv Mizzet was destroy my commander dot deck. So, which is very similar to the Asika deck as well. So basically, the two decks I've lost to uh, another Asika. Three Asikas in this one seven oh. Hopefully, I can get this a little faster. I do go first again. I'm going to turn one authority, turn two signet. We'll go from there. Get things a little slower out, faster than not. Right, they go down to six, I think. No, they still have seven. One, two. That could slow them down a little bit. I do have a Hallowed Haunting. Good to create some creatures. Get that. Arctic Tree Line, tap lane, a little unfortunate. I'm going to get the Hallowed Haunting down right now. Before they have any counters or anything like that. Alright, hello. Because I can get Sit This Down. Is this on tap lands? No, it's not the one. So we get the Sit This Down. Make a spirit. And get the tap land down. I'm sure they... I think they have removal. Yeah, see, they already have the removal. That's okay. Take the action. And I'll pass the turn. This will give plus three, plus three. Trample. So I'll give that to this dude. But they did not play a creature, so next time the bridge is coming out. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Make some more spirits. Land, swing in. I'm hoping a creature comes down right after the bridge. Alright, get set this down. Buff these all up. That'd be 10, 12. All right, bring it down to 13. It's got to be close, I'll tell you that. Bridge is bringing down. Jinkataxis. Okay. Yeah, 
They need a wrath or bust. Always got it. Always got it. Okay, so. Draw seven. Reprobation. On Elish Norn. Drops the seven down. Retribution on Elish Norn. Draw some cards. Put things down. Buff the team. Land. Naturalist. Buff the team. Boom! And I win. All right. Sweet. That was a fine, fine win. I am five and two. Thank you so much for that last game beating an Asika. That was the third Asika I had faced this game. Like... What's with the Sika? I know it's a great 1v1, but still. That was a beautiful way to end that one. 5 and 2 with my Sit This Harvest hand. Definitely a great deck overall. I just like it. But thanks for watching. Peace.